Have you just purchased your dream home? Or found that apartment in the big city? Or just decided that it's time to make a fresh start? Whatever the reason, moving can be a big project and requires careful consideration and execution of many tasks. I recently moved and I found MindJet My Manager to be a perfect solution to assist me in managing the project and to ensure that no tasks were overlooked. This is really a great piece of software, so I'd like to share with you my map that I created to manage this. I simply started with a brand new file called Moving Checklist and I added different topics containing all of the tasks that I need to track during the move and of course after the move. So let's take a look at uh, some of these items and show you how I did it. First of all, I was really concerned with changing my address with all of my friends, my family, and the different vendors and organizations that I have my address listed with. So I mapped this out and really spent a lot of time in this area. And First of all, I wanted to make sure that I updated my address with my family and friends, emailed most of them, uh, but a few of them did have to receive pre-printed cards for those of them that did not use email. Of course, updated my address with the Postal Service. You can actually do that online these days. Updated my employer with my new address, uh, the different banks that I do business with, uh, and of course, credit cards. Can't live without them. And I see here that my manager will tell me that I haven't yet updated my address with Discover, uh, but I have updated American Express and Banana Republic. So uh, I also see here that I haven't yet listed Visa. So I'm going to insert a new topic, call it Visa, and we'll insert some task information there as well. So now I can track that as I move along and make sure I update those. Um, I'd also like to add a hyperlink because I think I can do that online at Visa. So. That way, when I'm ready to come back to this task and complete it, I can simply just follow that link and save myself some time. I see here that I've also added some images to these topics just to give it a little bit more interest. So I'm going to add one for the credit cards. I'm sure there's a credit card image in the library here. And there we go. I'm just going to drag and drop it and place it where I'd like to see it on that topic. Perfect. And of course, you want to make sure that you update your address with different investments that you have, such as your 401k or other investment firms, your utilities, such as cell phone, cable. With the electric, you have to make sure that uh, you order the end of service as well as new service to the place that you're moving. Insurance DMV, you can actually update that online. Different publications, your magazines, papers, frequent flyer accounts, and any other miscellaneous that may not fit into the above categories. So I spent a lot of time managing that area of the map, but also things like ordering the packing materials for your boxes, uh, different sources you might want to consider, such as, of course, a place like U-Haul, uh, or your friends or family that may have recently moved, or the shipping department at, at work, or your local grocery store are also good resources to get some free or inexpensive boxes. Also use my manager to map to track the rental truck scheduling. All of the work that I had to do at the new house, of course, cleaning, lots of cleaning, and a lot of painting. And by the time I got done with all of those tasks, I realized that there really wasn't time to refinish the wood floor, so that'll be a project at a later date. Moving to the other side of the map, I have a task here that I need to schedule the move with the security office at the new complex. So I, I've received a contact that I need to call, and I'm simply going to insert that contact into Mind Manager directly to Microsoft Outlook through Monmage by adding a new contact using the Microsoft Outlook link.
and by saving that it'll put it into Microsoft Outlook but I have a direct link to that contact from my manager so I have access to that information all from the same map there are also another number of items that I want to sell and I included an Excel range to an Excel document uh, in my manager so if I just click on the icon it opens up that Microsoft Excel document and I have the whole list of items that I wanted to sell and I just got a call from Katie she wanted to buy those bookcases for 20 bucks each and I'll save that document and going back to my manager I see it's now updated in my manager There are a number of purchases I need to make for the new place and of course post move activities that I need to take care of after I move out of the old apartment. Now what I typically would do is when I open up the map each day I would just simply do a filter and view the information, view the tasks that I haven't completed yet. So I'd simply just hit view, go to filter, and do a quick power filter and show those tasks that are not checked off as complete and we'll show those matching topics and so now I'm only looking at those tasks that I've not yet completed so it's a really quick way for me to manage those tasks and focus on what needs to be accomplished at any time I want to come back and look at all of those tasks make sure I haven't missed anything I can come back and remove the filter and see everything contained within that map. To get your own copy of My Manager, go to mindjet.com. Thanks a lot.